Hey guys, this is Akuma7 here, welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2 Battle Royale. It looks like we're in the final battle, so let's see what we're dealing with here. Um, are we... what the hell is that? Whoa! Okay, they're all scrambled together. We got Skull Knight. We got Maleficent. Muddle Level 2. And Adai himself. Whoa, he looks possessed. That's pretty crazy. And he has white HP. Whoa, there's actually... It's higher than gray. That's... And there's Zeon. Oh, wait. I guess he's not here. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to think this one through. So, I'll be right back, I guess. Alright. That's gonna be a major cut. Major, major cut. I'm majorly gonna cut this, uh... Oh, really? There you go. Because, uh, here's what I'm going to do, actually. Here's my strategy, what I'm going to do. Alright, I'm going to lure some of these enemies down, because if I go up all the way up there, it's going to be too many enemies to handle. It's going to be too many to handle, so I'm actually going to bring some of them down. I'm going to be really, really cautious in this battle, since this is... I don't really believe this is really the final battle. I think after this, we're going to be in the final battle, which will be all boss fights. And, uh, I'm going to try to do this as carefully as possible. Try not to let anybody die. And another thing, uh, I did level up my characters quite a bit. Not at, like, all level 30, but, you know. But I got a lot of healing items, and a lot of those, uh, prism rays that actually restore all your MP. I got about two of those, actually. When I was grinding the last fight, so... I got, uh, two golden, uh, reins. I got... It should be just enough to actually, uh, finish this, actually, so, but... You know, as I'm cutting this down, it'll probably be within 20 minutes. Like, you know, like all my videos, I'm trying to keep it under 30, but... In this actual recording, it's gonna be literally almost an hour. Because when I'm doing, I'm actually speed running this. Like, I'm actually, I have the turbo speed. It's actually not gonna affect my, uh, recording. So I can make the time go a little quicker here. Because uh, it's just, with normal speed, it would take forever for these guys to come down here. And what else I'm trying to n try not to do is actually lure down um, Odd Eye. Because I don't want him with all these enemies after me. It's just too much to handle. I don't know why I'm doing this. I like to get rid of him because he has D Soul. So, it's not good. And for some reason, the background is pretty damn crazy. Wow, that's just. I forgot to mention that earlier. Yeah, the background's pretty damn wild. I, I, for some reason, didn't react to the background till just now, actually, because I wasn't paying attention. But, whatever. It's pretty cool, though. Alright, take care of him. Well, it's basically, you're, like, in hell, though, so that's pretty creepy. But, you know. It's cool to hear, listen to this music again. And I also switched, uh, Gepple. He's got a different weapon this time. He's got the Devil Bane. And surprisingly, it doesn't, uh, give you, uh, cursed. It doesn't make you cursed, which is pretty crazy. Anything with the word devil or doom or death or whatever, it's usually a cursed item, but... This one wasn't, for some reason. Alright, so... I think the worst case scenario is putting all my characters just all rushing up there. That's, like, the worst possible thing you could possibly do, because... Not a good idea to do that. I mean, I have to be really smart here. I've been playing Shiny Force for a number since I was a kid, so I've been playing this for a long time. So I can't just go up there and expect me to dominate. It's gonna be the other way around, so. I'm just trying to stay as far away as possible so Odd I won't actually, you know, come down here. So it's probably gonna go by sets. Like, this is the first set right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, even though it's kind of too early, but still, I don't want anybody to die right now. I'm trying to keep everybody alive as possible. <laughs> this is where I wish I had actual aura. I mean, having aura would be great, you know, it make this fight a lot easier, but, you know. 
Hit him again. There you go. I was hoping he wouldn't dodge that, though. I always get kind of worried, because when you have a second hit, it's usually miss. Those Maleficent guys, those Maleficent's or whatever, um, that have Muddle Level 2, that's gonna be a problem. I do not know, I do not want to know how strong they are, so... And that Skull Knight, it's pretty crazy, there's an upgrade version of those Dura Hands. Didn't think I'll see those again. I'm definitely going to restore it with the uh, Prism Ray, so I got two of those just in case. Mm. Yeah, let's use Freeze Level 3. Actually, it was kind of crazy. Um, Gebel has the highest defense out of all the party. Can you believe it? The guy that actually dies the most actually has the highest defense. Go figure. <laughs> I'm just still a little worried about this, um, wait a minute, what, did you see that? That, uh, that was actually Ellie, Ellie, or Ellie, yeah, the, the princess, and, um, for some reason it was glitched earlier. That's once again another thing I'm pretty late of noticing. I'm just too focused right now, I can't think of the other little things. I just really like to finish this fight, even though we're kind of just starting here. Or Elise, I mean, yeah, her name is Elise, not Ellie. Whatever. I haven't really played Shining Force 2 in a while, so, you know, just the littlest names. I mean, I have a pretty good memory of knowing the names, but, oh, of course you dodged. I saw that coming. I saw that one coming. You know, I just... I haven't played Shining Force 2 in quite a while, even though this is Shining Force 2. This is a hack. Excellent hack. Alright, uh... Um, uh, yeah, help me. Alright, demon. So after I kill this guy, I'm gonna have to speed up everything. You guys aren't gonna see that, so you won't have to worry. Because it's just so much of a hassle to bring some of these guys down here. So we're gonna worry about this second set, see who the enemies actually are. Oh, you assholes. I cannot believe you got rid of Gapel like that. I cannot believe that. That's bullshit, dude. And, but you know, it makes things worse. He has the Prism Ray. One of the Prism Rays I actually bought. And I actually told him that I'm going to trust you for having this. Well, it turns out Gapel dies again. But of course, maybe you guys wouldn't see it because I was speeding it up and I accidentally actually speeded up when he died, so you guys probably wouldn't see it anyway, but he did die. As you can see, you don't see him right now. I didn't mean to speed it up so much, because it's so fast, you know, super turbo speed. The only reason why I'm doing that is because, well, I'm trying to speed up this fight, because normally it will take too long. I don't want this video to be an hour long. See, it's crazy that these leeches guys these leeches are actually weak against the wind, even though they're mages. It's pretty crazy. But I cannot believe Gepel died. That's just... It sucks, because he has one of those items that I have. So the only one that has the Prism Ray is really Sheila. Man, I just... That's such a bad time for him to go right now. Because Odd-Eye's gonna be... His white HP, I never thought white HP was a thing. I thought gray was the highest HP you can get. But, well, what else is pretty crazy is the fact that Ana has more HP than Zeon now. Zeon only had exactly 500, he has 508, Ana does. 
This is literally the most ridiculous boss fight I've ever seen. There's so many enemies that you gotta deal with. So I'm gonna guess there's gonna be four sets. I believe the next set's gonna be probably all those um, flying guys that are gonna come down. Probably the uh, the yellow dudes too. They're probably gonna come down and then Audi will just sit there. As long as I don't get near him. So I'm trying to keep my characters just as far away as possible and try to lure some of these guys down here. I mean, that's, that's the whole plan. So far it's working. All right, let's see how strong these guys are. Uh, that's not so bad. Angel has pretty good defense. And I don't know why I put Valid and Honoree in this spot. It's just, it's not a good spot to put him in. That's a very bad spot to put him at. Very, very bad spot. They're great for magic defense, but not great for actual defense. There's a difference. Now, usually I would boost up my characters like crazy, but I'm not really doing that for some reason. I should, but I like to attack up a lot because, well, it gets rid of them quicker. Zap level 2. Alright, Soul Knight's done. Still no level up in this fight so far. Alright, you just stay up there. Don't even come down here. Alright. Another thing I want to note real quick, as I was grinding in the last fight, the infinity never breaks. It's like the Chaos Burger. It never breaks. And that's great. It's actually really awesome to really see. And another crazy thing as I was grinding, this Doom Blade can actually instantly kill monsters. Which is pretty awesome. It doesn't happen occasionally, it's kind of rare. It's kind of like how Slade in Shining Force 2, where he had that that, that, that uh, katana where it instantly kills enemies. It slashes them in half, and it, it's, a, it's a one hit kill. And it's, it's pretty awesome to see. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it in this fight, because uh, it's, it's really cool. It doesn't matter how much HP you have. On bosses, it won't work, obviously. They're not going to let you go off that easy, but still. This Doom Blade, I didn't think the Doom Blade had an effect. I thought it was just a normal blade that was really good for critical hits, but, you know, it does affect actually for critical hits when it does its uh, instant kill attack, so. So hopefully I want, you'll be able to see it. Hopefully, since I'm recording this, you guys will be able to see the uh, instant kill. It's really cool. I'm not going to really describe it, I'll just, alright, I was trying to make sure if I can use this again, because this is my only aura, so, even though there's only like maybe one or two characters that are hurt, yeah, so I'm trying to keep everybody alive, okay good, I can use it again. Use the weakest bolt spell. So far, everything's working really well. I mean, you know, normally, if you're coming into this fight, you know, like your first experience with Shining Force, like if this was actually your first game that you ever played, and you got this point in the fight, and you, you know, everybody would just go head on straight to the, uh, the middle of the area. I mean, I wouldn't do that ever. I mean, I refuse to do that bad idea. Alright. Next set of enemies, here we go. So it's looking like the next set of enemies is the Azrael, another Hellrider, and the Chimeras are starting to come down here, so. Alright, still gonna make sure. It's always good to double check because, you know, you don't want to use something when, when it's broken and that means you'll never get it back again. I like to double check. Oh, 
I'm actually quite curious um, how much Odd Eye is going to hit. Alright, it's cracked, so I can't use it anymore. Alright, doesn't look like those yellow guys are coming down. It's kind of crazy, though. They have wings, but they can't fly, which is kind of weird. Yeah, like I said earlier, though, um, I don't want to rush all my characters in here since I just started the fight. Because when I look at those enemies cramped up together, I'm like, no, I'm not doing the, like, the obvious thing. It's just it's a trap, so I like to have it. The strategy that I'm doing right now is a strategy that everybody should do. I mean, there's different strategies to beat this, but this is really the best one that I'm doing right now. I mean, I don't know if there's any other better strategy than this. Sometimes you can split your characters into two groups, which I usually do in other Shining Force games, but I gotta do the idea that works, you know, this one so far is working. It's not the most perfect strategy, but it works. Even though Gebel died, I cannot believe he died. I put him in danger like that. Oh, wow. Damn. Should be healing again. Cray, man, you're the, you're awesome. And another thing about Cray, I forgot to mention, is the fact that he doesn't have the um, critical ring anymore. I gave him the upgraded uh, that thing you get in the shop that increases your attack. I forgot what it's called. It's like the power belt or something like that. It's stronger than the critical uh, ring, so. There's a couple of stuff I got as I was leveling grinding in the last fight. Alright, takes care of that Camaro. We still got two more to deal with. And of course the Hellrider. And then we should be done. Alright. Time to heal. Again. I know I'm doing this kind of too early, but it's better be safe than sorry. <laughs> So far, everything's going pretty smoothly, even though Gebel died, man. He had that item that I want, though, but hopefully it's not going to be a changer, a game changer here. Uh-oh. That's not good. Is that level 2? Oh, critical hit, of course. I had to put a critical hit in there, man. Really? Critical hit? Um, I'm trying to lure these guys down. I don't want to keep going up. If I go up any further, Otto's going to start coming down here. You know, once I hit the center of the area, he'll start to come down. Because, you know, he'll draw his... You, know, you don't want to, um, you know, draw his attention, so... Oh, man. I hate to do this when I'm going right now, but... Alright, come on. Oh, really? Let's go attack my main character. That's a pretty big mistake for you, actually. I'm surprised you didn't use Zap level 2 again. Man, my main character hits a lot now. That's great. Alright, come on. Instant kill. I want to see it. Come on, do it. Aw. Oh. Damn. Oh, and he's poisoned. Of course. I can't believe the poison actually does a lot more in this game, because I remember in Shining Force, you know, other Shining Force games, usually it's only by 2 HP. This one's by more, it's crazy. Alright, he's still chilling up there. That's good. Alright, uh, attack up. Too, even though Sheila's gonna get it, but who cares? Glad Janet's still alive. That's good. She's she usually dies pretty early in some fights, but in this one, I know. Hit him again. 
Damn. Let's hope we hit him again. Oh. <laughs> Can't forget about him. Okay, good. He didn't dodge. Thank you. I was really worried about that. Uh. Okay, I can use it again. That was broken. There we go. All right, final set. Can we do it? Can we actually? Oh wait! Oh, I forgot. I forgot about the freaking uh, Camara. He was freaking uh, camouflage right through the walls. That's why I couldn't see him. Oh man, got a little too excited there. haven't used my prism ray yet. I'm definitely going to use it after I kill this thing. And then we're going to head and fight Odd Eye and those other two weird creatures. Uh, yeah, I gotta use this. Get rid of this poison. There it is, there it is, the instant kill. You got to see it, yes. Awesome. Oh, here he comes. Oh, but what, what the hell is this? Oh, Odd Eye Beam. Wow, that's a way different attack, holy crap. Wow. It's a bigger beam this time. Oh, we can't move, really? She's stuck, oh man, are you serious? We can't even, oh, wow. That's a bullcrap move, man. You can't even get up and try to attack him. Oh boy. This is gonna be crazy. Alright, uh, alright. Time to use this. We're gonna go all out now. Time to restore all our MP and just... I'm actually hoping that Odd Eye has bad magic defense. I don't know. If he does, it'd be a great sign. Alright, let's do this. It's time to go all out. Well, that white HP. 17 damage, eh. Alright, let's go ahead and use... Alright, taste my thunder, you asshole. Whoa! 55, okay. We figured out something here. He's not good with magic. Wait a minute, can he not move? It looked like he couldn't move. Okay, like he was stuck in that uh, same spot, so I don't think he can move, so I think we got him trapped. I think he... I think he's uh, stuck, so I think we got him cornered now. And those other two guys are pretty much just standing there, so... His minions. Wow, 62, oh my god. We figured out something here. Uh-oh. So if I can't move, that means those other two yellow guys can't get there either, even though they have wings. We got this. We got this in the bag now. If he can't move, that's a great sign. That makes it fair because we can't get across the body either, so... Uh, yeah. Ice on level 2. Since we got our MP restored, and the good news is, even... You know, if we have another fight, which we probably will. Oh, critical hit, 75. Oh, man, we're getting so lucky right now. Oh, he can move. Okay. I was going to say. Oh, wow. I was going to say. <laughs> okay. 
never mind then. Oh, really? Now he's gonna start cheating. Okay, of course we can't get across that. It's pretty unfair that he can get across it, but we can't. He's got so much damn HP though, oh my god. But we got him though, I mean there's just no way we're gonna lose this fight now. have to focus on... I, I can care less about the other two guys. I don't care what they do. Alright, um... I know Kamaku's gonna die, but hey, this is a great sacrifice. Do... just... Just do everything. <laughs> it's all or nothing at this point. Do as much damage as you can as possible. Oh! Oh, yes! That's awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. This is gonna be real bad. Uh, Cybell got hit. Okay, that's not nearly as bad, but still. And Kamaku's dead. What? He lived? Wow. I'm quite surprised he lived through that. Did she get hit again? I'm getting really lucky in this fight. I cannot believe it. This is insane. Alright, I'm gonna start healing Kamaku. I thought Kamaku was dead. That's insane. I can't believe it lived through that. Alright. Oh, we got this. We got this. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually destroying him right now. I'm so... I'm just shocked right now. And of course he counterattack. It's a sword, he does counterattack every time. But man, I mean, I'm not even fully leveled with all my characters and we're doing this much already. Oh, it's over. Goodbye, Odd Eye. Yes! How about them apples? And we got the demon pellet. Level 30 for Valid, the only level in this entire fight. Wow. We did it. We did it. One more fight to go, and we're done with this game. Oh, man, I can't believe it. We did it. Oh, yes. All right, guys. Peace out.